Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Belmont Park here on Saturday. It is April the 28th, 2018. You're going to look the ninth race for Belmont feature, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingK5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and also join me next week for my Kentucky Oaks and Kentucky Derby previews here on YouTube. Hopefully those should be up Thursday, maybe early Friday morning, but uh, go check those out here on YouTube. But today's ninth race from Belmont is featured of the afternoon. It's the fifth running of the Elusive Quality Stakes, purse $125,000. It's for four-year-olds and upwards. Fields of 10 horses here going the distance of ground of 1,400 meters or seven furlongs on the Widener Turf Course. 1,400 meters, seven furlongs, a Widener Turf Course. Rails at nine feet, so just keep that in mind. My top pick in this race, I like the number nine horse here, the number nine, con 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 I can't speak, Conquest Panthera. I'm going to go 9159 in the Superfecta, 9159 Super, top pick number nine, Conquest Panthera. Four to one, Dylan Davis is on the six-year-old gelding by Kittens Joy. This horse is most recent out and came on the 8th of April. I came in Aqueduct, one mile in the Dangerous Hour Stakes. This horse finished fifth by four and a half lengths that day, and, you know, just really never had a good run that day. Kind of weakened out of it. His first start since November, I think he definitely needed the race. I think coming here to Belmont today for the first time, getting the seven for a long distance, which I think this horse should really like, he should run a very good race. Before that, 25th of November, my birthday at Aqueduct, six for longs in the Aqueduct Turf Sprinting championship. This horse finished third by one and a quarter lengths. You know, closed up well from the back of the pack. You know, wasn't a bad closing kick at the end. He, he ran quite well that day. You know, if he had the seven for a long trip, I think he could have got there. But, you know, it was a decent turn of foot at the end. And then before the 12th of November, Churchill yielding ground one mile, 600 meters in an optional hunter claimer. Horse finished fourth by one and a half lengths. You know, he had a bit of a weird race that day. A little bit wide the stretch. Was with the leaders and then kind of hit the wall. You know, it, it, that was a very weird race. Uh, and then before then, the Woodford at Keeneland, five and a half rounds, two of the seven. Toughest, uh, one of the toughest uh, sprinting races of the fall. This horse finished fourth by three and three quarter lengths. Finished, uh, you know, closed up well at the end, but, uh, you know, wasn't the most in incredible runs. Last time this horse ran seven furlongs on the turf, came up at Woodbine and the uh, on the EP Trail turf course, seven furlongs in the Play King Stakes, great two events. This horse won by a neck. Didn't have the best of starts that day. Had a lot of traffic trouble, but he got there in the end, a very nice victory after all, all was said and done. I like him a lot here today. Four to one. He's been training well. Watch out for this horse to run a big one. So to recap my bets for the ninth from Belmont, it's the fifth running of the elusive quality. Gonna go with the nine horse here, Conquest Panthera. Gonna go nine one five nine in the Superfecta nine one five nine. So good luck to all. And please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit Five. Good luck, everybody.